Now. Last weekend, I was at Venus Classics in Manchester with Mark Tillotson, David Dunn and Dave Ellis, which was great fun. I sang my Head Candy releases, Stand Up and Let the Beat, and also Rent, which I did with Seventh Heaven for Ministry and the Freemasons um, stuff. But the, yeah, it was nice because they really like the Head Candy stuff is, is really popular with them. It's like some of their biggest tracks. And there was this guy came up to us are you is this yours did you do, did you do this i felt loved well it had it was a fabulous fabulous holiday very interesting um trip and it was great to be away with with the kids for so long as well after such a busy year yeah it was a very special party there were 137 guests and they were people from all different times in rachel's life family and friends some that she hadn't seen for a long time some new friends you know and it was just everyone that was very special to her that was able to make it was there which was lovely Peyton did uh, did quite a long set and then you DJ which was brilliant and then I went on and then at the end I got Peyton up to do an a cappella version of Lean On Me for those of you that don't know, I sang the title track to the award-winning movie Gravity. I nailed uh, what I'm told is a B-flat six at the end, which uh, I, I don't read music, so, um, so I wouldn't have known, but my friend Clifford Slapper, real name, informed me that that's what it is. I didn't write this. It was composed by Stephen Price, so it was a melody that had been written by him, and it was a stretch to reach that note. And I've recently been asked to perform it live at an event called Hollywood in Vienna, which is on every year in Vienna. Very glamorous event with an orchestra. Um, and every year they honour different pieces of music from the Hollywood films. And this year, um, amongst others, it's Gravity. I don't think I hit that note in anything else. I don't think at that pitch and force. I am nervous about it, but I wouldn't have said yes if I didn't think I could do it. And as Max pointed out, I had no idea that I was going to sing it on the day that I went to do the session. And I had no preparation time. I just went in and I got the note on the third try. It'll be a fortnight since I've had a drink. I'm not having any alcohol until after Vienna. As you know, I'm a keen walker. So I'm doing a bit of walking, doing a bit of swimming. Pilates classes, yoga, I'm getting lots of early nights. I just think the best way to prepare for it is to keep myself well. And I'm doing vocal exercises. They've sent me, last week I got some music from them. So I've actually got a mock-up of the orchest orchestrated piece that they'll be playing. So I'm able to practice to that. So I feel quite calm. I'm just sort of giving myself lots of time. I remember when I wrote When You Touch Me, and then it came out with the Freemasons and I started promoting that. I found that really hard to start with because that's all quite, you know, on the edge of my sort of shouty range, all the verses. But it's easy now. And I think that's part of it's just practicing and stretching the voice. Well, it's it's a whole new world for me as well. I mean, I have recorded, you know, a little bit of film music over the years. I was on the Evita soundtrack in the choir on all on the whole movie and I I sang um Kelly Preston's vocal on in What a Girl Wants at the end of the film. Um so you know I've done a, quite a bit and ad, adverts and whatever. You can go on to their website hollywoodinvienna.com and look at the contributors and they're all there. So it'd be very interesting to meet all these people and I believe that there's there is a kind of champagne reception and the 13th is going to be filmed and last year the program was broadcast in 35 countries i don't actually know whether it's live or edited and broadcast late at a later date and then the next night is um public i'm really excited i'm having a dress made film the hollywood in vienna people said our color scheme is grey, silver grey, pale blue to kind of royal blue and darkish royal blue. And I just really didn't have anything suitable. I thought, well, it's it's such an important concert and it's important to me that I feel as good as possible about every aspect of it in order to do the best job I can. So I'm having a dress made. <laughs>
I've got a fitting tomorrow, my first fitting, but it's going to be kind of silvery, dark grey dress and then a kind of blue, but I don't know what shade, kind of thing that goes over it with wafty sleeves that's to the floor. So what we're, Kevin uh, from Renaissance Couture and I are very mindful of is that I must not look like a scary nun, <laughs> Elvira or Barbara Cartland or someone in a 70s nightgown. <laughs> Max is coming with me. Um, he's not allowed to take photographs of the event, but he'll be an audience member. Uh, but there will be photographs, but he will be able to take photographs around. I mean, it might be nice if I ask him to do a little sort of documentary thing of me, you know, freaking out. <laughs> but for those uh, of you watching that don't know, Stewie is my personal manager and he's a regular contributor to the PMKE podcast. And he married his lovely boyfriend of eight years, Lee. Um, and uh, it was just a beautiful day, wasn't it? There was a gorgeous floral arrangement in the middle of the table, but I actually couldn't see you, double R, double T, so I moved it and some of the ivy fell off. But we were on a fun table. It was um, you and Jeremy, Max and I, our friends Emma, Emma and John, Disco Paul and his partner, and also uh, Stevie T and his wife Nicola. So this is this is actually something that Zebedee painted years ago. It's a sort of skull. I suppose it's pumpkin-y colours. It's a vase, actually. I've got a few things like this that he's made me over the years. I love them. But, um, yeah, Zebedee started college. He's doing a visual art and design diploma at Kingston. We're kind of keeping out of Max's way because tonight Max is photographing at XXL from midnight until four in the morning. Paul Morell is a resident DJ. I've actually done a new track with him and Stonebridge has done a, a mix. So that's one to watch, but not, not ready to kind of divulge too much about that yet. Yeah, so Max is going to be having a disco nap this afternoon. So my job is to sort of keep everyone quiet and out of his way, really. That's right. Oh, hello. Yes, well, I'm, I'm actually helping XXL rather than Paul Morell himself. So I'm sort of, um, I'm taking over from Joel for a, a, a bit. I just think Joel's in Africa. So I'm doing, a, I'm doing my first XXL, which is exciting. Well, last weekend I went on stage about three in the morning and I was up until half past four. So this weekend it's Max's turn. Well, I don't know. I'll be, I'll be uh, suiting. I've got uh, my, I've got a tux to wear. So I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm assisting in my capacity as husband. I don't think I'm, I'm particularly photographing it. And we wondered maybe you could do a little bit of video footage of me, sort of, you know, the process leading up to it, and then my triumphant performance, the, process, and the relief that, afterwards. That's right. That's going to be good. Hell on full effect. We're going to have full effect hell. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Bye. See you soon. Goodbye, viewers. Bye.